Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 25th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing imagery of our sun, as we've had only one M-class solar flare shot at us over the past 24 hours since last night's update. We're still going through the geomagnetic storm. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Watching on the left side, plasma prominence lifting from the surface. And as well, right side, big sunspot region moving in. Be keeping an eye on those. Having a look at outgoing. No major solar flares nor CMEs have been thwarted our way. But you can see in the right hand side, Plasma filaments shoot away from southern region of the sun. And then another one left the northern region after that. Having a look at multi-spectrum, this is the last 48 hours on our sun. Amazing images here as we had that coronal hole enhanced by the CME from the solar flare. Which produced over nine, almost 900 kilometer per second solar winds. And now we have another coronal hole moving in. And as well, you can see plasma filaments here. This was the plasma prominence that I showed in the first few images from incoming. Looks like solar tornadoes on the surface of the sun, but those filaments are stretching across the surface. Now let's have a look at a different light here. 171 angstroms. You can see our heliosphere in action. And right now, we have eight sunspot regions. Not much has changed since yesterday. Now, I'll have a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Big black spots. Those are the flares that we, or sorry, the sunspot regions we need to watch for major solar flares. Current space weather conditions. R1, S1, and G1 impacts right now. Solar radiation and geomagnetic. Radio blackout impacts expected. Our solar winds slowing down a little bit as they're sitting at 605 km per second right now. Solar X-ray flux remaining in the C range coming down after all of that hefty activity with the M flares. And as I said just recently today, a short M flare Solar proton flux is coming down. Geomagnetic activity topped off at a KP8 yesterday. Strongest I've seen in quite some time. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. A little bit enhanced as you can see that solar storm rolled its way after being propelled or propelling the coronal hole wind stream. All in coupled together created quite an event. ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral showing CME taking off, outgoing. And that was the same CME that I showed yesterday. So no new CMEs to report just yet. But having a look at LASCO 2, you can see most recent CME taking off from the left-hand side incoming. LASCO 2 here still showing all that interference and cosmic energy from the solar flares. And then... Recently did have a CME coming from the southern region of our sun, which we'll see here. Very dense plasma associated with that in a southward fashion. There's the most recent CME from Iswa. And then on the left-hand side, you're going to see the last few images there, small CME projected. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As you can see, we've had two very deep earthquakes the past 24 hours. One of them occurred last night and then the other one today. Here is today's, the 4.7. Argentina, Tacopica, Tacopaza, 560 kilometer depth, 5.5 earthquake here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 5.5 earthquake here, Macquarie Island region, south of New Zealand. So two largest earthquakes today, 5.5s. And then our deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 4.8 Fiji region, 594 
kilometer depths, and that occurred last night. Residual and normal activity across the Pacific Plate, I would say right now. And then recently here, 4.9, southern Qinghai, China, south Tibetan Plateau, Quiet across the African plate and Europe. Kamchatka here with a 5.1 off the coast of Chinkak, Kamchatka. Quiet through Alaska and quiet through the North American plate as only reporting 180 earthquakes the past 24 hours right now, USGS. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for tuning in and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, hitting that play, and being a part of this family. Showing here the last seven days of earthquakes, largest being the 6.9 that struck Indonesia just a couple days ago, after an earthquake warning from daily events worldwide. Heads up, North American Plate still expecting something up into the Cascades and Alaska. Having a look here at the SO2 forecast, are seeing a few changes here today. Very thick plume coming out of Mexico from most likely Popopoquetito, large eruptions there overnight. But still, heavy particulates across the northern hemisphere from the Iceland volcano, which has been erupting since March 14th, 11 days straight now. And there seems to be two cones now that are mainly distributing all of the lava. Having a look here over Southeast Asia, Australia, and South Africa. Sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by our 45 erupting volcanoes across the world. As well notable here, new plume across parts of Colombia, Brazil. There's not many known volcanoes through the region there, so I'd be interested to find out exactly where that came from. Overlooking Europe, heavy particulates, especially northern and eastern Europe. Iceland volcano, north mid-Atlantic there. Much love, everybody, and I appreciate you being a part of this channel. Welcome to this journey. Pretty epic indeed. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com and Daily Events Worldwide. We do have a low that's whipping across the central United States and up into Canada, which is set to bring blizzard-like conditions and heavy snowfall to northern Ontario. Long-range forecast. Big system coming into Washington and then heading southward. At the same time, you're going to see blizzard-like conditions across the Atlantic provinces. Big high-pressure ridge and low pressure coming from Alberta in the long range. We could see some snow in the long-range forecast, eastern Canada. But most of western Canada, prairies, and western United States, you still have forecasted snow for the next six days. Overlooking South America and Africa, still have an intense low-pressure system grinding across east coast of Madagascar and as well some strong lows that will be making their way onto land through Argentina overlooking Europe Southeast Asia strong lows coming in this week one of them setting itself up right over Ireland and the United Kingdom strong winds and rain expected here for the next five days so heads up, you could see some flash floods in the long range and even seeing more low pressure systems coming in to your weather. Overlooking Australia and the Pacific Ocean. No major typhoons or cyclones developing, but watching a strong system head across Japan. And then a low pressure system here affecting New Zealand and low pressure system heading down into southeastern parts of Australia. Much love, everybody. Thank you for over 72,000 followers. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due.
Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.